when I fly Mykonos to uh, Ibiza talking about the comfortability because I bring a lot of models on board. I have a lot of business clients for my papa. The comfort aspect is very important also because I'm very tall. Are we going to have a bed? Is there going to be a shower? I understand exactly what you're saying. If I can ask you a few really key questions, it's going to be able to show you what you can buy. If you want to take you through this process, think of I me like your process. doctor. If you don't okay. tell me the truth, really, really, how much you really want to spend, okay. how many people you really need to carry. I need to know exactly, because like a doctor, if you don't give me the real problem, I can't solve the problem. In the airplane business, there's 149 choices of aircraft models. You think in pounds and euros and dollars, what do you think? In? I think mostly in euros, the best currency. So the first question I have, and it's the most important one, what is the maximum budget you want to spend? After a few phone calls, I believe I could do around 70 million max 70 million but i also euros. don't need a, a boeing i don't need a huge jet the moment that we're getting to these kind of i'm not a shake i don't need this kind of stuff or looking for something mostly in europe we rarely fly to the us so around this is what i'm i'm picturing this kind of the legacy uh, the gulf stream what's the maximum number of people you want to carry 14 people 14 yes okay so the next one is age the maximum age of an airplane. It's really bizarre to say this, but in this business, a 10, 15, 20 year old airplane is not so old. And you can redo the interior to make it look amazing. I mean, beautiful, brand new for a small amount of money compared to the purchase price. Okay. What is the longest trip that you think you'll need to take? Maybe four or five times a year. I think uh, London, New York, so that is 5,500 kilometers. 5,500 kilometers is the most direct flight from London to New York, and that is not getting any vectors from the air traffic and not accounting for wind. So we'll add 20% to this. So you need an airplane to go 6,600 kilometers. So if we really look at a, a, an airplane that's great for you, it would be something like a, a G650, a Global 6000, a Falcon 7X we could probably yes. put in there. So these, of course, since it's French, yeah, you will like a Falcon 7X. I am very fond of French brands, so... And the what? I am fond of French brands. You yes, see, so okay, so I the Falcon you. 7X for you might be yes, the right answer. So. The Gulfstream, a Bombardier, and a Falcon. So if we look at from London, this is the maximum range you can go nonstop. So this is the Falcon 7X. So anywhere in this circle, you can go without having to stop for fuel. Okay. And the red one is the one for the Global, and the blue one is the one for the Gulfstream 650. They all can carry maximum 14 passengers. Some might be 12, 13, depending on the configuration, but they can do 14. This was the winds last week at uh, 35,000 feet. Like a weather uh, report. Incredible. Yeah, so this is like 10,000 meters. You can see the wind wow. is going all different directions. And is this current time or is it? This is one on last week. Last week, it even takes the most precise. Wow. Every week we update this. This is technology. So you can see generally the wind is always going from the west to the east. It might not be directly straight, but that's why when you're flying from, let's say, from, from New York to London, you're going to go faster than going from London to New yes. York because the wind is pushing you this way, so it's making you go faster this way. Mm -hmm. And when you're coming back, you need more range on the plane because you're going against the wind. Then How you can we do the measurements? Because I'm, I'm tall. I want to see exactly if I'm going to fit. You're not going to fit into any of these. However, so you're telling me it's going to be this difference. You're going to hit your head on that. The only way you're going to not hit your tall. head is if we put you into a Boeing. But uh, I can never convince my dad for that. <laughs> That's too much, unfortunately, the Boeing. But I tell you, the price, I can get you the price of a Boeing, the same price of these other airplanes. I've seen you in negotiations on TikTok. I, I do believe you when you say this, yes, definitely. When I'm telling you, I can get you a beautiful Boeing, much less than 50 million. For you, you're 190? 90? 94. 194. So this is a bit of a problem for you. That is the only other airplane. Oh, you know what? I have another idea for you. It's halfway between this. This is an Embraer lineage. There's the answer. That is good. Perfect. Okay. So this airplane, okay. to give you an idea, that's the Boeing, that's the lineage, and this is the, the Falcon. That's the interior passenger room. So you take out the cockpit and the kitchen, the galley of okay. the airplane. This is just the space from the front of the, the kitchen to the bathroom in these airplanes. So you can see the green is a lineage. It's mm -hmm. much smaller than the Boeing, but it's much bigger than the Gulfstream or the Falcon. However, it's the same operating cost as 
a Gulf Stream or a Bombardier. They've only made about 50 of these li lineages. There's hundreds and hundreds of them used in the airlines, but 50 of them were made for, uh, for private use. And it's a fantastic cabin for what you need. You can go New York, London. You can go London, Dubai. That's the maximum range. But that actually might be the perfect airplane for you. This is what it looks like. Oh la la, very nice. So on the outside, it's bigger than a, a Gulfstream, but smaller than a Boeing. There's not many for sale, but it's really a great operating cost, a big cabin, and it's efficient. And you can fly it to Mykonos, to south of France. Would the York. landing be okay in Mykonos? Because yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. Big? The Mykonos runway is actually not so bad. It's just in Mykonos, the problem is you can't stay there. So yes. as soon as they get out of the plane, they have to leave. Yes. And go somewhere yes. else. It's a fantastic uh, airplane. The detail. Proper plane, huh? It's not a <laughs> private jet anymore, which I like. And there's only 50 of them. I like that. Because I don't want to be flying around in something that a lot of people own. I want it to be as unique as possible. I want it to land and I want people to know that's Louis Jet. This might be the one for you because you can probably, this one, brand new, they were 50 million, but they, now they're less than half that price. You can get me less half? Yeah, yeah. These airplanes you could buy, I'm telling you, for 20, 25 million. And I'm telling you, the operating cost is the same as in a Gulfstream or a Bombardier. Steve, you know, you've been recommended by a lot of close friends that you're the best in the business, and I can see why now. Thank you very Looking much. Forward to doing I this. won't let you down, I promise.